Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and I've got the an unboxing of some of the new Paint Gem mini kits. So I had a look, quick read through all the comments and the requests. Butterflies definitely seemed to be top of the list followed by ocean um, I didn't actually count them uh, but I did go by how many were repeated so let's start with butterfly because as I say that one did seem to be the top uh, but this is the butterfly edition and we have thank goodness got the names of the butterflies on the back uh, because I would not have a clue. I might know the monarch butterfly. That's probably about it. So let's have a look at what these are actually like. So in here you do get the Paint Gem Toolkit. So I'll show you this one, but of course Ocean Edition is the same. But you get a white boat. You get a pot a little heart pot with a piece of heart wax. You get a sparkly pen with a single placer. You then get some white tweezers. And then we also get a squishy for your pen, which can help, um, help with the fingers, gives you a different grip. Uh, you also get a three placer and what looks like a seven placer. So a couple of multi placers in there as well if you like to use them. So that's the toolkit in this gorgeous little pouch bag. We then have the colours which I must say are rather gorgeous. There is a fair amount of black but there is some beautiful colours that will mix in with this. So we've got a couple of different reds, quite a few oranges, yellows, greens, blues, purples, some browns, some greys. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous selection of colours. And then we get into the nitty gritty. So I'm going to pop these two aside because I will be popping these into the storage that I keep them in as well um, but in this folder is where you find both the stickers for the paintings uh, is it 12 6 8 10 12 yes so 38 colors are in these butterfly paintings um, so they won't fit, this one won't fit into my paint gem storage case. Maybe I'll have to have a look. If I come across one that is 30 colours, I might just kit it up in my paint gem case anyway, because why not? Uh, but you do get the stickers for these. So they're each individual stickers with the symbol and the DMC number. They tend to like to use a lot of letters and numbers followed by a few symbols when needed. So in this case, we have an umbrella, a heart and three dots. Looks like the top of a dice. Oh, we've also got a lightning bolt. But apart from that, it is letters and numbers. But to actually look at the paintings themselves. So, oh, we've got, we've started to see numbers in the bottom as well. So that's a good way to check that you have them all. And do they equal, oh, it, yeah, it may well be in the same order as well. And, oh no, maybe not, no, it's not. It's not in the same order. I was trying to work out which butterfly this one is, uh, but I think this is this one. Morpho Cypris or something, because uh, it's got the yellow and the blue. So they're not in any particular order, but these are the butterflies. Uh, you can see that there is some grey edging that gives you the edge, just the little lines. When I'm kidding these up, I like to just make sure that they're all gone so that they can go into my book when I'm done. We've got another gorgeous blue one. 
that looks to be the blue copper in fact I'm not going to keep looking at all the names because there are some of them there that there is no way I am going to be able to read out <laughs> Let's not try and pronounce some of those that we can't. Uh, but we do have quite a few little outlines. It's amazing how many butterflies you can make out of small diamond paintings. Oh, that one's gorgeous. You can see like the little eyes on the wings. Then here's some more. I'm trying to see. Yeah, they do pretty much look symmetrical of each other. Uh, I keep trying to see if there's the odd one that's not, but so far they're all looking to be a mirror image on each side of the wings, which may make designing easier, I don't know. But if you're diamond painting, if you've got some colours on the left, you're going to have them on the right as well. Oh, that one's pretty. I know it is just greys and blacks with a little bit of beige, but that is pretty. There is some gorgeous ones in here. I can see why this has been a very, very popular set. Um, has a lot of requests for this set. And you can see why, because they are just stunning. And of course there's some that are completely blue, some that have got yellow, some that have got browns. There's the monocon, isn't there? See that is number four. Has number four and is number four. Oh, but that one's number three, so it's number two on the list. Thought they were matching up for a minute. That one kind of looks a bit more like a moth. And then last, but by no means least, we have the green one. So I like to keep mine until they've been done. I keep them inside this wallet that so kindly comes with the kits. I then put it inside one of my A6 bags, which I have popped butterfly on. But what I also like to add in is these covers. So if you've seen me kit up one of the Paint Gem mini sets, um, the storage containers that I've been using for anything over 30, in fact, I've got the one I kitted up the other week, um, I like to use the front cover of the box there. And then on the inside, I put the back of the box so that I have it for reference. Not as much needed on the Christmas design because they don't have names, but it's definitely needed on the butterfly edition to have a hope of knowing which one is which. So I keep hold of these until they are done because then I can use them on my storage boxes. Uh, if I am to use the Paint Gem case, which is their new case, which holds 30 colours, then I can always slip it in this top part here. Um, so they did send me this case with 60 bottles. And I like the fact of using this for my Paint Gem mini sets. Um, I just need to do one with less than 30 colours or less. There are some, um, but it's not that edition. These I then pop in with my standard square diamonds. Any square diamonds for my 30 by 40s, couple of bigger ones, but mainly my small ones. Uh, they are already named that they're the butterfly edition. So it's so much easier. I just pop them away and grab them both when needed. So that's set number one all ready to go in my stash. Though so I have added these to my um, to-do list or to my Paint Gem wish list uh, decision maker app already um, because I was kind of hoping that the app would pick one when I kitted up Christmas, but it didn't. Okay, so this next one, these boxes are gorgeous as well, by the way. Um, I just don't have this, 
the amount of storage space to keep them in their boxes otherwise I would um, because I don't tend to use the toolkits um, it's easier for me to just keep them as a flatter item but you can even turn these inside out if you want to use these for posting something as well or you could just post it in this box and just pop your address label on the front if you're sending something to someone okay next one is ocean so the ocean edition which again does have names more likely to be able to say all of these so maybe I will read these ones out as we go through I'm not likely to hash them as much and there's probably quite a few of them that I would be able to know what they are as well um, without having to look at the list but again we have a gorgeous array of rainbow colours which is what I love uh, so we've got the grey we've got blues purples there is actually a couple of pinks in there then we've gone on to reds peaches greens orange yellows browns there is a couple more lighter blues and a little bit of white uh, there's also a little bit of black as well hiding in the back for the colours and the stickers we all we have 37 37 colours in this one um, we introduce symbols wise we have a triangle a lightning bolt and the umbrella apart from that they are letters and numbers and again we are showing signs of them having numbers on the bottom of here which is probably just for their reference packing wise so this first one is a red sea banner fish got a little bit of coral some little bubbles uh, these are all partials so there is only adhesive on the parts that you need same with the butterflies so you're not doing a load of white background oh turn around again this is the koi carp uh, so if you think well you can see it easier in the camera than you can see it when you're looking really close up um, it actually looks more like koi from your angle uh, but it is the top of two koi fish this is a little bit ripped but that's only where there is no adhesive then we have a crab which is just rightly named a crab and again we've got a little bit of detail on the ocean or maybe on the sand on this one we have a jellyfish i do like these little bubbles there's two or three colors in these bubbles but we have a jellyfish tuna anybody likes tuna that is the tuna fish with full-on droplets jumping out the water for a picture uh, then we have is this just the shark great white shark this one's down as great white shark then we have a turtle yeah they have that down as sea turtle which yep it is an ocean set after all we have starfish then it's Nemo or the clown fish. Nemo and his dad, maybe. I don't know which fin it was that he had that was damaged, but clownfish. Is that swordfish? Marlin. That's down as Marlin. There must be another name for a swordfish. Then we have the blue whale. He's just a little guy. He actually probably wouldn't take you that long. He is a little guy, the blue whale, even though he's big in real life. Uh, we have a seahorse. Then, all the way up again. Then we go for a bull shark. Again, that's another one that's sort of from a different angle, from the top slash side angle. So you can see the fin here then we have an octopus has he got eight legs 
four, five, six. There's a couple that seem to be coming from the back. He still looks good. Then we have a lobster. And then I'm trying to see which one that I've not actually got to yet. Oh, the puffer fish. It was the last one on the list. But then we have this good, he looks cute. He does look so cute. Uh, then we have a cute puffer fish. So that is the ocean set. Uh, I have a few more sets to unbox sort of fully and pop away. And I'm more than happy to show you them all in a little bit more detail because I have quite a few of these mini kits to do. I love doing them, uh, but they do they do t tend to get done over time. So I'm doing the odd one every now and then. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few still to kit up. I have two uh, kitted up at the moment, and I tend to like to have two. Maybe I'd push it to three because of my new paint gem case. But we'll see. If any of the new ones are only 30 colours, then I will kit it up early. Otherwise, I do need to check um, which ones I've still got, if any of those um, that I've not done are 30. And then maybe I'll push that one in. We'll see how these unboxings go first. But that is a close-up of two of the Paint Gem mini sets. Do pop a comment down below which ones you want to see next. Helps me to keep track. But I have Rainbow, Mandala. Um, what was that? Oh, Birds. I'm looking at the side of the Birds one and I'm thinking, what theme set is that? Yeah, so I have rainbow, mandala, birds, insects are the new ones. And then I also have the mystery set. Um, but I will just tag the mystery set on to the last one. So let me know in the comments which ones you want to see next. I will say that I think it was rainbow and birds that were winning on the last video. Uh, but those that chose butterfly and ocean um, have the right to vote again. So pop in the comments down below which ones you want to see next. I think it's a week or two before I unbox the next set. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.